So, in uh, last couple of videos, we have studied uh, PMMC instrument and electrodynamic instruments. So, I think it is a nice uh, uh, opportunity for us that we have some uh, broken instruments with, with us and uh, we would like to see how they actually look like. So, this instrument which uh, I am holding in my hand is actually the internal parts of a PMMC instrument. Let us identify all these parts. So, the this uh, black thing that you see, okay, this black thing along with this white rectangular uh, object, they form the permanent magnet. Actually, this white th uh, white object, this is only the magnet, so this this is this is the magnet, it attracts my keys. Okay. So, this is this is the magnet, this is the magnet and it is attracting my keys. And this black thing is actually just a iron piece, a soft iron, it is it's a piece of iron. So, uh, if we refer to our diagram, okay, if we refer to our diagram on uh, screen, so we have here a permanent magnet uh, and then so this only this part is the magnet and this this part and this part are the black parts this is not the magnet but this is only a uh, iron uh, of, I mean it is a piece of iron which guides the flux lines from this magnet through this coil. So, it is a guide for the magnetic flux lines and the actual magnet is only here, but this acts as an extension to this magnet. Okay. So, this is the magnet. Now, you can see that uh, this there is a circular core here inside. Okay. So, you can see it from both sides. There is a core, circular core, black in color, which is held together with this outer uh, magnet through this uh, through this aluminum uh, strips, which looks like a silvery object in on screen. So, that is the core and between the core and the magnet we have this coil. So, you can see the coil which is this, this there is a, so you can see it from this side. So, this is the coil okay, and it can turn you see, I can turn this coil inside the magnet and this is turning alone, the core is not turning, only the coil is turning okay. and this needle like thing which I am holding is a pointer which I have not drawn before, but let me now draw it. So, there is a pointer attached here, a long pointer. Uh, attached to this coil. So, when this coil turns in either direction, this pointer will also turn towards the left or right and we will have a scale with markings like this. So, when we have any current through this coil, the coil is turned and then this pointer is also turned and it moves across along this scale. Okay. 
and therefore, we can measure the amount of rotation or the angle of rotation by observing where the pointer is on the scale. So, this is the uh, this is the pointer, the scale is not there uh, because uh, it is broken and this thing this copper like thing it is not copper it is actually phosphor bronze it was this spiral spring. Now, it is broken, uh, but you can see this spiral spring another spiral spring on the other side. So, you can see this spiral spring on this side and on this side it is broken when I was taking this uh, thing out of the uh, box. So, it is this this is the spiral spring and uh, this is made up of phosphor bronze. Now, this phosphor bronze uh, has some nice properties and one of them is that it is a conductor and therefore, actually the current flows through this spring. So, the current I flows through this spring, then it goes to this coil, then it comes out from the other end and then again it flows through the other spring and then it comes out. So, this phosphor bronze spring helps uh, uh, the current to flow uh, through this spring and then to the coil through the coil and then finally, through the another spring and then out. And then we have bear then we have bearings which I have not shown here, but let me now draw it. So, we generally have some bearings uh, let me draw them like this. So, we have generally jewel bearings with very little amount of fric frictions, friction and this basically this is the shaft or the spindle or the axis of this coil which can rotate on top of this jewel bearing. Okay. So, that bearing is also uh, you can see it is here some sort of bearing is there. Okay. So, this is the PMMC instrument which we have uh, talked about. Now, let us look at uh, an electrodynamic instrument. Okay. So, we know that in an electrodynamic instrument the difference is that the permanent magnet this permanent magnet is replaced by electromagnets or solenoids coils. So, this is the internal part of a electrodynamic instrument and here you can see uh, main three coils actually. So, th this is one coil. Okay. So, these are the turns. So, let us see from this side. So, this is one coil. So, these are the turns and these are the two ends of the coils. This white insulated things are the two ends of these coils. So, these are the turns of one coil. So, this is one of the fixed coil. Let me turn it now. This side there is another fixed coil okay. and these two are the two ends of this fixed coil and both these fixed coils are attached to the body or the frame of the instrument. So, these two coils cannot move. So, this dark brown or uh, this dark glossy uh, things are the fixed coils. So, let me show this in my diagram. So, here in this diagram this red coils which I have marked as fixed coils are this uh, dark brown things and then we have this moving coil. Uh, so, we have this moving coil which you see is is like sandwiched between the two fixed coils, it is placed between the two fixed coils. Now, let us find out this moving coil in my instrument. Okay. So, for that you have to look from this side and you see that there is another coil which I can rotate inside. You can see there is another coil 
which is rotating inside the two coils right. So, this is the moving coil which I am rotating with my right hand and the dark brown thing is the fixed coil which is not rotating. So, this brighter one and the smaller one smaller and brighter uh, coil is the moving coil and the darker bigger coils are the fixed coils. So, you can see it from the top as well. So, from the top you see that the moving coil can rotate inside the two fixed coils and this long needle like thing you can guess what it is this is the pointer. So, as this coil moves the pointer will move across a scale along along a scale and again this this is the spring which is broken ok. This is the spring which was attached to the frame of the instrument and the spring tries to uh, hold this uh, moving coil at its normal position or tries to oppose uh, the motion of the uh, moving coil ok. So, I guess uh, this short video will help you in having a better visualization of the instruments which I was trying to draw uh, and it will also probably help you in understanding the instruments uh, better. Uh, thank you for uh, watching.